Fingers crossed everything's working. This is the first stream since I've been home. Sure we'll end up into a couple hour uh, tech stream as per normal. So glad to be home. So glad to be done traveling. Some days off felt good. Ready for some gaming though. A lot has happened in 2021. Yeah, kind of. All right, so we basically day one don't have a lot to do, right? We have no resources right now, so it's just deploy and go, right? Oh, we can demolish buildings. All right, so kind of a low-key game to check out. Oh, I don't know if it's a low-key game. It's a game we haven't put a lot of time into quite yet. Uh, I've been trying to check out this game like three times on stream, and each time we haven't quite got there. We've been... Uh, I think I played for an hour the first time, said, hey, we should come back to this and try a little bit longer, and then haven't managed to do that yet. So today we're going to finally sit down and attempt to get a little bit of time into the last spell, which looked really fun from the uh, stuff we played. You guys enjoy the top 10 video? I thought we had two. I thought both the, I thought uh, Ralph did an incredible job with both top 10 video and the New Year's uh, stream. But both of those turned out really well. I've been really pleased with those. My favorite part of the New Year's vid was the comments. Here's to no tech issues in 2021. The New Year's comments were fine, right? Or are you just saying they were kind of like, it was, it was It was a very wholesome thing. I'm not a big fan of wholesome, but it was wholesome. So I guess we can do that every once in a great while. Let's get to it. Where's my start? What if I always moved to the same amount? Like in other words, could I have been safe just starting there? All right, so we want a bee sting. So we want this to, and what is it? Propagation, change a portion of the damage, a random adjacent unit, max targets. How many targets can I have? It says targets one. Oh, there it's at the bottom, 85% propagation five, All right? Nice. How much damage is poison? 30? So does it kill some of these? How come it double applied on some of these guys too? Did it chain back into him? It might have. I like the idea of limiting the movement of the guys in front. Seems reasonable. I guess I should do it after we do damage though. So what are we going to do? So we have super spin. I can leap there, but not there because it's occupied. Our move six, so I can go one forward, super spin. Five movement left and two actions. Okay. We have Explosive Bolt. Alright, so that's our first turn. Next number of uses per turn, a lot of them have, yep. We use it twice per turn. Sure. We have a leap. And we can go Super Whirlwind thing again. Okay. We have our AoE. Okay, this weapon does a lot of damage, feels like. Out of attack actions that we can do, or rather we can punch, I guess. Probably need to kill the runner. Hey, Kitchen. This is the poison propagation move again. We only get one of these per turn. Range on it's crazy, too. Just need to kill this guy, though. Probably just walk over there and shoot him twice, huh? Once, even. We're not using mana when we cast. Oh, we are. No, we aren't. I wonder why. Game is called the last spell. You can cast more than one spell. I mean, it's a kind of bad critique of a uh, something, but it's referring to this spell. This is the spell your mages are trying to cast to protect you from the hordes of zombies. So that's the reference. The abilities that move enemies. Well, the abilities are tied to first. This is this is round one, right? The abilities are tied to uh, the weapons, and there's like, you know, n. I think we've seen at least 10 starting weapons. In other words, it might just be this particular weapon set that's costing us the ability to move enemies. We just had a movement effect, right? We have the reduced speed off the Druid Staff. Okay, so this wave is almost done. Good, because I'm kind of out of resources, or rather, not, I, I don't really feel like these <laughs> I don't feel like these abilities actually do a lot. And particularly like the lone guys in this game always seem really weird to me. It's very difficult to like, Good uh, super spin again. It doesn't really hit a very good grouping here. What do we have here? We've got impaling bolt. We could get a pretty decent impaling bolt. What's the range? How many does it go through? Target's four. So we can get the, the clean line there by moving to here. That seems reasonable. Do that. 
Definitely seems like his best move right now. Oh, it does have restrictions. Fuck. Need an undo on that. All right, min range three. Okay. So what then? That's gonna be here. A little bit less good. Their min range on explosive bolt. You know. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I guess we're gonna be single target mopping. I did not mean to move there. I was, supposed to, I was trying to select that guy. Feels bad. Okay, guess we're going over here. And right, we'll come back to you. I'm gonna go punch this guy once. So we can punch once on the way out, right? Okay, this should be able to be killed by the druid then. We need help over here. Could leap into that. I guess is what I'm doing. So I just move there. Okay. Hey, Zach. Nice. Is there an undo on the left? That'd be nice. I didn't notice if, if there was. Character sheet, block, next hero, previous hero. Which weapons? Where are you seeing uh, the undo? All right, uh, we can back up. We can definitely do an impaling bolt for these. Three away means we start here. It's fine. Red arrow shows up after I move. I'll check it after the next one, I guess. And we can shoot this guy again. I guess we heavy bolt him. Why is it inaccurate 20? I know it. Oh, because it's range one. This one's a closer range weapon. I see. I didn't notice that last time. So minimum range is one. So I can be adjacent to him. Ah, that's much better. Okay. Okay, I see. I see what's happening here. One of these is always better. Yeah, it's always better to punch huh? All right, round one complete. I forgot to look for the undo again. Remind me uh, next fight for sure. Okay. Season finale of the world is interesting. Bit stressful. How are you? Hey, Reindeer, the sub. Uh, I'm doing well. Doing well. Glad to be home. Traveling was not fun during this. So uh, glad to be home and not moving around. All right, we're gonna confirm this wand. All right, we've got gold and materials. There's the souls that we get that you can't use right now. Uh, all right, got an A. We have uh, we have level ups. Let's do our level ups. What got me hooked on the game initially, or what made me think the game was going to be fun, is it has uh, so many little things you do, like level up your town, you level up your guys, change your weapons around, all the things I like in games, right? All right. So that bow was kind of shit, although impaling bolt was fine. All right, so we're testing stuff this round. Uh, we're done with production. We've sold all of our stuff. So we're ending the production phase. Build some defenses. Is it worth it this round? I guess there's two guys over there. Maybe we could build a um, tower. Try to stick the rifle in there and see if we can shoot enough targets to make it worthwhile. I'm going to try it. Anything else we want? Catapults were dog shit. All right, let's drop some towers, see how they play. They were so bad, Arvius, for me. Like, what? it's like what, one shot for three actions. Like, holy fuck. Like, I can I can do so much damage with three actions. Like, all your characters have AoEs anyways. I'll try to show you. Maybe you found a difficulty setting that I couldn't find, because they seem terrible to me. All right, so who do we have? We have, this is the rifle, right? All right. You upgrade towers. I don't know. Probably. These look like, are these wood towers? I like how they spawn way the fuck over here. No way near any of my towers. Awesome. Could let them move forward a turn too if we're not trying to control the spawn points like I have been doing. But I haven't really used these towers yet. Or I, if I did, I've forgotten how to use them. Or I've forgotten what they've done. So let's go in here. Climb on watchtower. Two actions. Targets one. Limited time. Okay. Now you're in the tower. What does it do? It did not give me extra range. So what the fuck does the tower do, chat? That's make me salty. Vision over a wall. Imagine giving a shit about vision over a wall. So far they haven't reached the walls except when I do this terrible strategy. All right, grape shot. Look at the runners. How do I deal with them? One each at 75. 
closer. Should have punched before I left, didn't think of it. Can be super bad. There's like too much area for the towers to be very good, right? Like you're like my characters at least have been very mobile up until now. But like locking them into this tower, I just feel even with the rifle, right? Which has this kind of range. Still only I have I have seven AP, I can get an eighth. I'm doing it in here. What is this? Big isolated. Both my AoE ears over here was a mistake. Uh what is this? Punches up. We are conserving mana this round, so no magic missiles, for example. Should maybe go block this stuff so it doesn't get into the meat of our base. Actions left there. Yeah, actually a lot of actions left. I think I'll chunk a health back, I guess. Needed an AoE on both sides of myself. Or AP to kill that. More damage. Martial punch 65. Okay, it does more damage. What is this? Four. Are there enemies left? Oh, that one. So that was fairly interesting. We actually healed a lot off Martial punching things to death. And imagine wall HP is actually very valuable, so maybe that's fine. It felt like a really sloppy round. All right. What weapon or item do we have? Range damage. This is a helm with dodge and range damage. Yeah, I'm having fun with this. I don't think I have more than another run in me right now. Like, I think this will be my last run for this game. Until, uh, more content, but uh, I am enjoying it. All right. So, managed to get some meta regen and a level up. Danica's our new guy. Not doing anything. We ran him with the spear last round, but it doesn't... Kind of committed to the rifle here. Why? Really? Fire was good. This character also the dodge character. We can't really get a crit build going, I don't think, even though we purchased the missiles for that goal. Doesn't feel like these options are as powerful as we had last time. I maybe need to upgrade the shop. I don't know when that upgrade then though. Does it kick in immediately? Must not. I don't even notice I don't know if I noticed this one. But what was this on? It was on the pistol. A 15% crit rate with double trinket. So this was the one we're trying to get to be that crit build. Might be finishing up here in a second, chat. Uh, the only thing I wanted to check was if one more, I'm not sure I want to play one more, but if we get, so stacking, this is not currently double crit, but we'll get double tri crit trinkets here and then run the crit on AOE essentially. And if we run that plus a spear in a huge cone, then it should be every first time we attack people, we end up with um, a ton of mana regening, right? we might actually be able to sustain the spear once we get going. That was the thought process. That build seemed insanely strong to me. But it was an interesting checking out a couple other things. It was interesting to see that the vampire worked with punching. That punching, the punching upgrade was pretty good. Um, I don't know how you're going to get away from investing in the in that rapidly, but you might be able to, right? We didn't need four people for that last run. We maybe could have invested in the shop earlier. And I'm looking forward to That's the part that's going to be exciting to me about this game. The combat's only whatever right now. It's okay a little bit weird like a little clunky was how some of the abilities attack but it's okay right it's nothing nothing amazing the fun part right now is the character building and the presumably the base building is going to be a little bit fun too right if like for example these fucking things i built mattered dude this says it takes one ap to enter the watchtower too well as two movement anyways all right i think that's probably going to do it for me today i don't think i have it in me for one more round right now